Welcome back to my channel where we celebrate the wonders of nature and the beauty of gardening. In today's video, we are diving into the world of designing a wildlife friendly garden. And I'm thrilled to share with you how you can create a wild and wonderful space that not only captivates the eye, but also provides a heaven for wildlife. Let's get started. Tip number one, embrace native plants. Incorporating native plants in your garden is key to attracting and supporting local wildlife. Native plants provide food, shelter and nesting sites for various birds, butterflies and other creatures. Research which plants are native to your region and select a diverse range to create a thriving ecosystem. Tip number two, create different habitat zones. Design your garden to include a variety of habitat zones, such as meadows, shrubbery and trees. Each zone offers different resources and shelter for wildlife. By diversifying the habitat, you will attract a broader range of species and promote a healthy ecological balance. Tip number three, provide food sources. Incorporate plants that produce fruits and berries or nectar to attract birds, butterflies and pollinators. Consider adding bird feeders or bird houses to provide supplemental food and nesting opportunities. Tip number four, incorporate water features. Water is essential for wildlife, so include a bird bath, a small pond or even a shallow dish of water. These water features will attract birds, butterflies and other creatures for drinking, bathing and cooling off on hot days. Make sure to provide a shallow area or rocks for easy access. Tip number five, create shelter and nesting spots. Wildlife needs places to rest, hide and raise their young. Introduce shrubs, bushes or even a dedicated wildlife-friendly corner with tall grasses and native wildflowers. Nesting boxes, bug hotels and rock piles offer additional shelter options for various creatures. Tip number six, minimize pesticide use. Avoid using harmful pesticides in your garden as they can harm beneficial insects and wildlife. Instead, embrace organic and natural control, uh, pest control methods. Encourage natural predators like ladybugs, birds and bats to help keep pest populations in check. Tip number seven, provide wildlife corridors. Connect your garden with neighboring green spaces by creating wildlife corridors. These pathways allow animals to move freely, enhancing biodiversity and creating a larger habitat network. Consider planted, uh, planting hedgerows or creating small openings in fences to facilitate wildlife movement. And tip number eight, incorporate nesting sites for bees and butterflies. Bees and butterflies play a crucial role in pollination, so provide nesting sites for them. Install bee houses or leaf patches of bare ground for solitary bees to burrow. Plant specific host plants for butterflies. Tip number nine, opt for sustainable gardening practices by conserving water, composting organic waste, and using organic fertilizers. Embracing even one or two of these tips will already go a long way uh, to creating wild and wonderful wildlife-friendly garden.